to my channel. It's been a while and I thought I'd come in and say hi and maybe catch up on this new trend. It seems like everyone's doing this um, tiered video so I thought why not you know give it a shot and maybe talk about what I think I love the most and as you guys may have known already. Let's try and rate my favorite places. Okay, so let's first start with this picture. So this is definitely Maldives. I would 100% like a holiday home in Maldives. I mean, who wouldn't, right? But I think um, more so because it's my first ever snorkeling experience that, that took place there. I think I'll never forget it. That moment, I was, I was genuinely really scared initially because I had never done snorkeling before. Though I don't have a fear of water, but it's just suddenly to experience so much underwater life around you and not just you know rocks and, and um, shrubs in that moment like I initially went like holding her hand saying don't leave me I'm not sure and then I, I'm i not joking it's, it sounds like it's a movie but you're, you're in that moment and there was this you know gush of I don't know maybe 100 200 fish and all I could feel in that moment, I didn't even realize when I left Varun's hand and I started like snorkeling and swimming. In that moment, all I could hear was my heartbeat and the sound of the waves. And I think I can never ever, you know, forget that moment. So coming back to the picture, I think definitely I'd like a holiday home in Maldives. Um, and then the next picture is of Greece. This is Mykonos and Two, three, five hundred percent for a night. That was actually the first thing we discussed after our Greece trip. That the play, first place that we would like to buy a holiday home would be Greece. Um, I think we loved, loved uh, Santorini, but there's a vibe about Mykonos. It's almost like you can do everything there. It's great for couples, families, friends, a solo trip, whatever you want. Um, the food is, is absolutely great and again by the way these places that I talk about are all like veg friendly which has been like a very important factor for me because I'm super particular about food and especially um, veg food. So Mykonos is definitely like a place that I would love to have a holiday home. So, And then I think um, worth the trip that I'll not forget is Santorini. I think Santorini was beautiful but um, I don't think I'm going to go there again but I have no regrets, um, it was superb, we had a great time, maybe we also went when it was really really warm. Alright and I think the next picture is exactly portraying what I just said, um, but Varun and me again, this is in Seychelles, absolutely a great place for couples to visit so if you guys are planning a trip and are in 2 miles, don't be in 2 miles, go there have a great time and we did as well. Um, we stayed at the Hilton and I'm sure you guys are going to also experience some great properties there. And then we have um, Baku, so this is in Azerbaijan. This was for me, whatever. Um, is it a place I go again? No. Is it a place that I plan to go to? No. Um, we wanted a, sh a super sh you know, close by destination for a short holiday and we picked Azerbaijan. A lot of people recommended it, but honestly, after doing Georgia, because they're all like very similar, your Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, you know, if you've done these kind of places, I would do Georgia in a heartbeat again. I mean, and I'll come to that when we get to that picture. But talking about Baku right now, this is taken at the local soup. Guys, so let me tell you, the next picture is a picture of my favorite dessert. Absolute favorite dessert. It's called Kanapa. It's in Arabic. So this is a super 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 tiny um, restaurant. So this is in literally the city, like the center of Amman. Um, I googled and superbly like researched this place. It's a super tiny store, um, and people wait in queues to get the kunafa there. So that's where this is from. Please go try it when you are in Amman. I loved it. Honestly, you can probably get it from anywhere. Next up is Gabala. I think I can do a separate video on how you must not visit Gabala. Because Gabala is a joke. For everybody who's from Gabala, I apologize. But it's really not a place for, for anybody to visit. I do have to agree though, the waterfalls, absolutely beautiful, really, really stunning. So yes, 
it was a good place um there were you know good days we enjoyed it because we were a full family that went so we had a good time amongst ourselves but would it be a place again i definitely say no so that's kabala in my whatever list now next up is a picture from azerbaijan but this is of the um museum that we visited in baku and i have to put it in a good like probably not again but a good experience slot because i don't think i have seen a better museum in recent times i'm not talking about your you know your european museums i'm talking about the recent time museums it's one of the most high tech modern very well you know done up museum very very beautifully organized so i found it like actually all of us we we found that museum really really cool i wish we had not seen it on our last day and actually explored it on the first day because it is a sight to not miss so definitely visit the the heder ali museum it's it's worth a visit for sure next is the city that i can never forget actually this one picture is from ghent um So I am going to first put it here. As you can see, Belgian waffles. So who doesn't like Belgian waffles? And even better when you're having it with fresh hazelnut and cream and cream in the city that's like created Belgian waffles. I think Bruges and Ghent were not anything short of a fairy tale dream. The next up is going to be from Bruges. And Bruges is definitely a city I want to have a holiday home in. I might, I may go there like once in two years or once in a year. But I, I think because we lived in a B&B that was so stunning, we were right on top. You know, we had like a chimney room. If for anybody who's been into fairy tales, if you've ever watched like those cobblestone pathways, snow, like snowflakes, horse carriage rides, you have it all in Bruges. I think. Uh yeah that's definitely a place that I would like to have a holiday home at. And then um comes Fifi Island. Fifi was uh what the trip no regrets. But like actually no I'm going to put it in probably not again. Good experience. I mean it's great. Beautiful waters. We enjoyed swimming there but I think we enjoyed the waters more in Greece and Croatia than we did in Fifi. Like it's beautiful the islands to look at. Now comes a picture from a place and i know you'll be like okay but what are like that like multiple different things but guys jaipur is a place you've got to visit if you are somebody who likes north indian cuisine um and wants to experience an entire like royal vibe go stay in one of the palatial properties in jaipur um the food is mind blowing and as you guys know asian hospitality is absolutely incredible But this time around, I actually went to all the main, like I went to City Palace. I went to uh, uh, all the different other, like you know, pal palaces out there. I had an actual tour guide who walked me through the entire journey. And then comes um, Bali. Bali is also going to be. This is from Ubud actually. Ubud is going to be in my worth the trip, no regrets. Um, cool place. It's a little. Okay, after a while, cause I think we spent like three or three or four days there, and I think two days are enough, you know, just to get your basics done, get your entire like um, the swing, the Bali swing done, the coffee plantations, and then I would say spend more time at Semnyak because Semnyak the beach clubs are great. Um, even if you're someone who doesn't like to party, but like just the vibe there, uh, people are so chill. Food is great. so many like vegan options is also from um ubu there was nice we did the coffee plantation i was a big fan of the coffee i was super super thrilled you know to try the coffee in bali but i think i got put off what a visit would go again i don't think so so yeah that's you know that's ubu but yeah one thing i will tell you and you will see here in the visual and here you see this in the picture stunning like stunning scenery This is from our hotel room in Ubud. You literally wake up to this like mad forest. It's and there are like random like streams of water just flowing by. You feel like Godzilla is going to get up from somewhere and like this is it. It's like it's dense dense forest. And then um I think yeah definitely Semnyak was was like 
beautiful it was amazing the beach club was fab we had a great great time there so i definitely say you know samia is worth a visit i guess next up would be uh, a, a a trip that i don't think any of us can ever forget i think kenya masai mara was beyond unreal it was to see a hunt a kill was crazy um we saw a hunt and hunt by hunt and kill by a pack of lions we saw a cheetah um also not hunt but kill and feast like crazy on a wilder beast um and we saw four of the five uh, big five from kenya so definitely kenya is in a holiday i just cannot forget and these are you know the pictures that i was talking about the rhino seeing the cheetahs um feast on the wildebeest it was it was an unreal sight like you guys have to have to um also i i didn't do the masai mara village experience in it very different just to see how they live yes it is quite commercialized now but kenya was was incredible so definitely a holiday i never forget next up would be paris how can i not have um the eiffel tower here it's a holiday i will never forget i still remember when we were driving into the city and i finally started getting a glimpse of the eiffel tower and i was like a little child and they were like the eiffel tower i can see the eiffel tower and call it whatever you want the weather was such i don't know but when i went there all i could feel was love like the the, the vibe over there is so romantic and then just to walk down um and have a cup of coffee enjoy or like we had the really like the yummiest meal today there paul is nothing um compared to obviously that so i think we just enjoyed the vibe so much there we had a great time um dining out at night seeing the eiffel tower in the day and shimmering at night it is a sight i will hold close forever so definitely a holiday i'll never forget um next up is a trip that was super impromptu we were in um in switzerland for i mean first we went to paris then we went to colmar and then switzerland and um we were actually at one in this one city where we were on a workshop and then literally we extended our trip overnight we decided that we took a trip to st moritz stuff of dreams so i think that again goes in my holiday i'll never forget you know that to literally wake up to and I have done Switzerland before with my family and I've done Interlaken but I think to do it with like your partner has a complete different different thrill um again to like learn to ski there the slopes um the place that we were staying at we were the camp camping ski in St Moritz it was it was absolutely beautiful so I think that is again a holiday I'll never never forget and next would be um Georgia so i would like to actually have a holiday home there because georgia i think totally surpasses expectations um it's a super chill place i would like to have a holiday home only because it's 3 hours away from dubai we were also in a city that you know has own a winery we stayed there it was absolutely beautiful so just for the purpose of you know having a close by convenient place i would have a holiday home in georgia i think it was very chill very nice um so definitely that's on my list there and thing a place that i'll never forget would be colmar and that's the picture i'm putting up next i'll never forget this holiday because it was the first place that i did a day trip in the recent times um solo so varun was at the workshop and for 3 days i um went across different cities in switzerland and france um colmar was very close by from zurich for me to travel in the in the train and i think that experience i will never forget and also if you guys google colmar it's probably one of the most prettiest cities in france i remember having the first thing that i ate after like hours of walking around was apple pie so warm so hot so fresh loved it must visit colmar i think yeah so it's definitely a holiday i'll never forget same for i think aman aman is actually a, a worth a trip no regrets it's great if you're going there for any work or if you have other plans then i would maybe do like a half a day or a day in aman enjoy the food there it's great i know dubai like has a lot of like good arabic food but we really enjoyed the local cuisine in aman 
again Petra is something that you can't forget um, it's absolutely stunning and Vadiram I think Vadiram is a holiday I won't forget because sleeping in a dome amidst orange or red sand it's not your typical desert and I think at night to see such a starlit sky was phenomenal so I think uh, Petra would definitely be a holiday I'd never forget Petra, sorry, Wadiram would be a holiday I would never forget and as we're coming to the end of it I think Sri Lanka whatever I won't spend too much time talking about it for me I felt like it was very similar to like India <coughs> in a lot of different ways maybe I didn't explore it enough but I don't think I would want to go there again I didn't find it to be super friendly or like very unique so it was okay for me Prague I would say good experience but I mean I probably wouldn't go again Prague and the best they were good we enjoyed it because we went with family we had a good time um, and I think yeah I've covered everything here just you know skimming back to what I have and where I'd like my holiday home I think it would definitely be Maldives, Greece um, Belgium and Georgia I think these are the four countries so let's hope fingers crossed my vision board uh, I think needs to have these pictures and I think I definitely want a holiday home there if not um, at least you know go back soon so I hope you guys enjoyed this you know travel tier list um, where I've rated my favorite places do let me know if you guys agree and um, what have been your favorite places to visit and maybe I can put them onto my list actually I do have South Korea after watching Crash Landing, whatever that show is called. I think I'm in love with Captain Rain, so I definitely want to go to South Korea next. Anyways, uh, more on that in my next video. Bye guys!